Wonderful. So I am hoping that everybody is having an incredible day. If not, you can look forward to having an incredible day today <laughs> because we have a, a, a fantastic uh, st streaming plan for you today. And, uh, you know, I, I do this every week and I do it not only to share the wisdom with everybody else out there, but I also do this for me because I love to get all the knowledge from a lot of the top leaders, whether it's getting their story or getting a certain training or helping us grow our business. There's so many things that we can get out of uh, these calls. Well, this week, I think she is one of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> and then, and as you saw in uh, when I was uh, posting about who was coming on this week, you'll just know when you feel her that she has this power inside. Uh, she, she's kind of like an angel walking here on earth who just is glowing, uh, has a fun energy about her and is so wise. And I think part of the reason she speaks so much to me is because of, she speaks from the heart. So it, it always speaks straight into your heart. Um, many of you know her uh, as the wife of an ambassador, and you kind of think maybe that's her background, but it is definitely far from her background. So I know you're going to have a lot of fun listening to what she has to share today. So let's bring her on here. My favorite darling from England. <laughs> Hello, Ambassador Shan Ives. Hi, Shan. We're going to need that unmute there. There we go. <laughs> okay. We're going to do that one more time. Hello, Shan Dunn. Hey, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Lovely to be here, Carla. Thank you for having me on. I feel like it's a real... It's an absolute honor. It really is truly, truly an absolute honor and blessing to be here today. So thank you for having me on. Jen, I think everybody who knows you knows this person who definitely is always speaking from the heart. Um, you are just you. Uh, and and when we've seen you on stage, we've seen you as MC, we've seen you uh, speaking. And yet a lot of people just tie you together in Zenzino with your husband, Ambassador Dave Ives, but actually that's not where your story began. You started in this industry many years ago, um, maybe just to let people know a little bit about your background. Would you mind sharing? Sure, I would love to. Yeah, I do get that a lot in a nice way. Um, Because I, you know, we all know the gorgeous Dave. He is Oh, my eternal soul partner. Amen. Um, I am so blessed to have him as my husband. And he's such a bold leader. Um, and as you know, he's such an app. Yeah, he's yeah, it's, um, he touches my heart daily. Um, so people do think, yeah, that I kind of just stepped nicely into that role of Zinzino, which is not true. <laughs> so a little bit about me. I was trying to think back. Uh, I'm 54 now. Gosh, the years just passed, don't they? And some of you might know and uh, or not know, but I used to work for British Airways um, as a cabin crew, uh, a trolley dolly, as we would call them. So I used to fly around the world. But my mum and dad, um, isn't it fascinating when you look back into people's stories um, and for me, my mom and dad had a bar. So the way they were always all entrepreneurial. So I was pulling pints, working behind the bar at the age of 11. So that whole ethos of working together, having that family unit, and we worked hard, like really hard. Um, this is not hard. <laughs> this is so not hard. But working in a bar, it, I'm, you know, 24-7, it's hard. It's hard graft. And so I, I was brought up with that. And I think then when I left school, I worked full time in an alternative therapy center, which was very insightful. But I used to then come home in the evening 
And I used to work in the bar to help my mum out and do bar meals and food and things in the kitchen. So that whole, it, it became my normal. So if I had, you know, time off, you kind of don't know what to do with yourself. So here I was working with British Airways, flying the world, absolutely just a delight to do that. When I came home, it's crazy, right? I was a little bit bored. And that entrepreneurial side of me still, you know, jet lagged, still tired, but there was something missing. Now, there's a few of us on here that are like my age and a little bit older, which is just thank you so much. So I and it's a, it was American company. So I was talking to my cabin crew friend and listen to this, because this is exactly where we are at right now. So we're on board, we're working away. And this girl sees me. She's a, another, you know, she's a colleague. And we were talking and I said, well, I'm looking for something. She went, my mum does something on the side. And I said, does she? She went, you would be perfect. Now, remember, there was no internet 24 years ago, a long time ago. And there wasn't Facebook. There was mobiles probably about that big. And she said, you'd be great. My mom's great at this. So I had a conversation, took her name and her number. And I can remember Pam Gilbert. Pam, if you ever see this, I love you. I respect you. And I still hold you with high regard. She was the first lady that explained to me about direct sales. And please put your hand up, I'll put a one in the comments if you've ever heard a smoking company called Weekenders. Yes, Donna, I got a one. <laughs> so briefly, Weekenders were the clothing company and it was for older ladies. I mean, I was, yeah, 20 five probably then but it, older my age now who wants to go away for a weekend and you could fold these incredible I mean look at me now these incredible clothes ladies <laughs> incredible clothes roll them up and they had this phenomenal like um raincoat but it zipped into a bag isn't a bit Donna you know exactly what I'm talking about don't your sister amen I'm not on my own here but for me, and then you rolled all the, the clothes up, which was, they were very elegant, no ironing, um, used to hang beautifully, different clothes, you know, different shapes, sizes, belts, all of that. Look at me, listen, I'm still doing it from 25 years ago. You roll them up and put it in your then coat, but it came as a bag. Well, if you went for the weekend. So I used to fly around the world, and obviously I spoke to her. I bought in to the whole weekenders, because it made sense. I mean, she literally spoke to me over the telephone and went, Shan, we do this. She didn't tell me the hard graft behind the scenes of I had to have a rail, right? I had to buy this huge rail. I had to have this. And then I got delivery. So I had all these clothes in my home. <laughs> and every time I had to go, we did parties. So I used to have to lug, I mean, seriously carry two huge rails full of clothing in my car, then go to the other side. And you can imagine the whole process I used to make. I mean, then it was probably about a hundred pounds. So if we times it by whatever, it's about a thousand pounds an evening, I would earn. And I loved it. Just loved it, but didn't she do a good job? She just chatted to me on the phone. I said, yes, get this without even seeing any of the clothes. Honestly. So I just told her the whole concept, but when I looked back, I didn't even know what the quality was like, what any what the colours were like. I didn't know it was for older women. And I thought that then it would be, you know, there was a massive age gap. So if you went to ladies' houses, it was an oh, I'll stop because I'll just go on <laughs> the weekend. But, but that that's where I got my bars, that's where I got my first step. But as we all know, whether we've come back into this industry um, or we're new to the industry, I'm sorry to say it's in your blood for life. It just is, isn't it, Carla? It's just in your blood for life. Well, I think wow. one of the most important things that you said there, too, was that it just made sense. 
doing something on the side that you're working for yourself, if you find something you're passionate about and you can get started in this and you can actually earn that yeah. extra income, why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Then I went on because then I had children and then I stayed at home. My entrepreneurial spirit was still within. That will never change. So if you've got it, don't ignore it. Um, grow and flourish. Because um, then I had children. And this is the perfect. I mean, hallelujah. I did try. I tried a few. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't like to brand myself as a serial direct selling person. However, I, because the reason I stopped with Weekenders is they actually went bust. I think I would um, I'm still being with them today, to be honest. Um, but uh, thankfully not. But still, uh, it's amazing, isn't it, how one door closes the always and another one opens. So then I was at home. I didn't fly anymore. I had uh, two boys. And I. it was the best thing to then explore different, you know, possibilities for me to work at home. Still, you know, the priority was for me to be the mum at home and to earn money because I really wanted to. Um, so I did different things, um, which is just, I did things that then, because the whole concept of direct selling made sense, I didn't choose very wisely. For example, I am so not into makeup. So why would I even consider twice I did this? I mean, you all definitely know Mary Kay. So I was definitely a Mary Kay girl in the UK. I just, I am not one of those that's going to do the makeup. Just, it was still in my vein, still made my name, but I, something was still missing. I do think it needs to be a part of you completely um, for you to really, I think, make a change, make a difference in people's lives. And I did that. I did. There's another company as well that you probably know. That's This is the last one I'm going to mention. <laughs> but Unique, does anybody know Unique? With the lashes. I mean, the lashes. They were fantastic. I only got in because of the lashes. I thought it was great. Again, you know, I don't look back and frown on that. Yes, I kind of didn't make it the success, but that was through choice because it didn't, there was still something missing within me that I knew that I couldn't prop, you know, put my whole stamp on it, you know, my whole passion, my whole personality. And I think when that goes, then, you know, you're in trouble because your heart's gone and you can't then fulfill what you absolutely, truly believe in. So for me sitting there putting makeup on all day, that is just not me. Um, so, yeah. But I would say we would all say, oh, my goodness me, I failed. No, I didn't fail. I, I And every single person here that's ever been there, you have never failed. We always grow and we always learn and we all that experience builds up to where you are today and we seriously flourish. So, yeah, that's and then when I met Dave, I actually um, took things a little bit more seriously with my life. And I said I sat down and worked out what my true passions were. And I knew, number one, travel was also in my veins. And that runs with Zinzina as well, doesn't it? Which is just beautiful. We have these amazing trips. Um, so I'm so pleased that, you know, the travel works beautifully. But I then spent, so I looked down, I was like, this, I, I, I love travel. So before I joined Zinzino, um, I went through a whole process. I'm not going to fail anymore. I'm going to absolutely nail my next project. And it was a franchise to become a travel agent. And guess how much I spent to become a franchise agent with my own company with an APTA and ATOL protection? £18,000. Yeah. So, yeah. So my other side of that is when I talk to people about our ultimate kit, <laughs> it's like, how oh. Okay, I had a chance, so I, I bought the, tran uh, the the franchise, I set up, I called myself Trolley Dolly Travel. Within a year, they the company of a franchise dangled the carrot and said, if you hit £350,000 in sales of travel packages um, and holidays, we will give your, you your full refund. And I'm really honoured to say that I actually, that was my focus. 
which is going to come into powerfully um, in a little bit. But that was my focus. And I was one of the few that actually got my money back. So I actually had a free, a free, yeah, you know, I had a free franchise, which is very similar, isn't it, to what we offer. You know, you get your 25 and you have that all free. So that's incredible. And I flourished. I did two, three years. It just took off. So when we go to networking groups like we do now, currently with Zendino, I'd be there going trolley dolly travel. It grew. And I had two ladies working for me. We actually built in, um, I came up with an idea where we could be partners in travel with especially cancer um, charities so we could pay back, um, which we absolutely loved. But guess what happened, guys? We had COVID. So guess what happened to my business? Overnight. So from growing a six-figure income on my own, me and Dave, I was separated. Me and Dave were together as friends. I was his first customer. And I don't know if you know, but my 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 journey was in Zeno on a health base. It Yes, it's only my personal testimony, but it changed my health. I was suffering from a lot of women's PMS and even just the balance. So I don't have to preach to you guys because... <laughs> You've all got stories. You've all got testimonies. Personally, as a customer, oh my goodness me, it changed my health. So again, I had to look at where I was going um, to go, what am I doing? I've lost everything. And again, my heart, knowing. You see, my, my, my all my question was, again, because of our direct selling model that we, I'd always been brought up with, it was like, how 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 do you get the recurring income in travel, okay? And, you know, I used to speak to the guys who owned the franchise and they were like, well, that's your, you know, that's your repeat business. And we had a lot of repeat business. So I was, you know, I was kind of put at that bay and that was really good. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's great. Nobody expected COVID to happen. Gone. My six-figure income overnight not even a heads up, not even nothing, gone. And for two years, you know, gone, gone, not just a little bit gone, gone, just gone. Um, and for me- So for there, you are, I mean, you were entrepreneurial from a younger age and now your own business. So you understood what that could actually bring and you understood the direct sales area and at this time back in 2019 you guys were friends mm -hmm. and you were his first customer that's actually really warms my heart to think about that as friends <laughs> that you became his first customer uh that's really supporting your friend right there but so it started to help you and so when did you start looking at Zinzino as a business well, when I'd lost mine, I then, and Dave was thriving, right? So we were in contact. We were then, you know, middle of 2000 going out with each other, the girlfriend and boyfriend, but in secret scenario, just to see how we would get on. And I was loving everything about Zinzino. And I'm like, uh-oh, 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 scared. Right, that feeling, right? You can't get away from that feeling going, oh my goodness me, can I promote this with 100 million percent passion? I'm like, absolutely, it's changed my health. So I knew that. But of course, I've got my partner, boyfriend, I don't like to call it that term, in the business and he is thriving. And I came to a point where I needed you know, to really step into a business, there was no way that I was going to go nine to five. And at the, that time, and I had a chat with Dave and I remember it really, really well. And I don't know if anybody knows this, but it was really funny because I thought that that's actually maybe what he would want. So we could join forces. Oh my goodness me. Uh -uh. So I said, I really thought, well, you know, I love the comp plan. This is incredible. And of course, you know, hearing more, being on the meetings, I was like, gosh, I'm loving this. 
this is phenomenal. It's changed my health. I started talking to people about it and getting customers. And I was like, oh my goodness me. I was like, okay, I want in. And he went, oh no, uh-uh, no, no, no. He actually said no to me. Wow. <laughs> I don't love and that. He went, no. And I went, pardon? And he went, no. Because he'd been there in the past with a girlfriend and it didn't work, work at all, right? And I totally get that. It's not a good thing to do, is it? It's just not cool. And especially if anything goes wrong. I mean, you know, we can look now and laugh at that. But, you know, you do have to protect yourself and you do have to make the right choices. But that was great because I went... I got my credit card and I was, I just went, that's great. I said, you either accept me as a partner with this credit card or I'll go to your upline. You choose. I don't care. I'm in. Because I've made that decision. <laughs> like, whoa. So he couldn't not, you know, so like, absolutely, let's take the money. Let's get into the partner. Oh my goodness. It was almost like begging him to be a part of Zinzino, which was really funny. But he, we were both really clear that I had to build it. You know, yes, I had him as a support, as my upline. I built it to diamond on my own. Um, and it was like a bit of a proof. You know, I had to prove myself, which was great as well, because there's a little, you know, that gets us going, doesn't it? It's like, have you got the fire in your belly? Do you actually want to grow? Do you want it to make it a success? But I had to do it, you know, on my own. Yes, with him as a support, just as a normal upline. Um, but as well, it's a, you know, I love the carrot that's dangled. And um, yeah, so I built it to diamond and then we did get engaged. But a lot of people don't realize that, that you actually did build it to diamond. Uh. Yeah. And then we actually, um, we got married and then we said, come on, let's go. And we we got married in the June, not last year, 2000 and two years ago. And they then came to move in with us and then it was in the November time, September time. And we then said, come on, let's go as joint then as Mr. and Mrs. to ambassador. And my goodness me, that was absolute fun. So yeah, which will lead me into growth because that was just phenomenal. Yeah, that was good experience to do. Actually, it was so lovely to do it together. I've got to say. I love that. And so our topic today is actually about growing the business, but you mm -hmm. kind of have been growing the business for many years before actually starting Zinzino because every time you've started a company, you've learned something from that mm -hmm. uh, and you've taken that with. And so coming to Zinzino, you've learned a lot about building a professional uh, top business with a fantastic team of people all over the world, actually. Yeah. So what would you and say? Global. Yeah, ab all global, completely global. Yeah. So what would you say are the keys when, I mean, our question is, do you want to grow your business? Yeah, hands up or put a number one, do you want to grow your business? I've got two hands, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I got two hands. Amen. <laughs> so I, it, it was a cult, it's like um, last week or the week before. And you know, you have like this, you have some quiet time and you're looking at, things and you just there's a pattern um there's a pattern to successful people and I was really because we learn don't we we are always taught you know we I mean Hilda's amazing isn't she she's just an incredible leader um and you know she will always say just read the 10 pages a day in any book just read your 10 pages a day minimum um and I was reading some books and because I've got a couple on <laughs> And I really noticed, um, I don't know if any of you have got pen and paper, but if you have, that's great. I'm just going to write a couple of things down um, just to, so if you've got an A4, that's great. I'm just going to ask you to write a word at the top. But what I noticed with six, seven and eight figure people, there's a cycle. And what I got was the first the first thing that I really took in for me or noticed was at the very beginning, it is, we have, and if you write at the very top, focus. So we've got focus. I don't know if that's going to come backwards here. Yeah, I thought it would. So you've got focus. 
okay? You have so much focus. And working with Dave, and you know how he exploded the business, he would say to me, and I just, I love this so much. He used to say, who do you want on your board of directors, Shan? So I, I visualize, you know, that boardroom table and I kind of done an oval shape there, look. <laughs> so I was focusing on different people, right? So many. And for me, lots of women, that's not a bias. It's just how I rock and roll. So I just put lots of people there and then I named them. So I will talk to you about my friend, Sarah. So I put Sarah on there as one of my boardroom directors ladies she's an absolute powerhouse she um, lives and works in London I've known her a long long time ago and that was my focus I was so focused on having her in the business Covid had happened and her business of course wasn't then you know she does skincare um, and she wasn't able to get out and she was at home so she was you know not able to work and I kept knocking away having that absolute desire and focus to get her in. <laughs> and of course, as we do, we either phone or message, hi, how are you? Are you all right? Yes, Shan, how are you? Lovely. She's just honest with me. She went, Shan, I just, she didn't have the mental capacity to take anything in because she was surviving. She went into survival mode. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, so I left it a little bit, but isn't it funny how I want to talk to you, how you can be so focused on one person that then that actually stops you. That stops you because I was so focused on her and a couple of others that it was almost weekly that I would want to connect back into them. OK, and it was like, oh, I was like, come on, I want these people. I want these people. I want these people. But then that's all I was focused on. So it con con you know, com completely consumed me. And then I want you to put the next word. And the next word's a biggie, and we all have it, and that's fear. Who has ever experienced fear within the business? Doubt, the negativity. It's almost like you go, yeah, 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 yeah. And you're getting off on a motiv motivational, inspirational day, event, whatever, conversation with your upline, your partner, your spouse, and you're like, yes. And the first thing is somebody says, make a list and connect person just a little bit like, and who thinks that phone is an absolute brick and you cannot pick up that phone incredible um and we go through that and then we go back to focus and then we can we can just waste our time can't we and the next then F is and I want you to write down frustration because we get absolutely frustrated who has suffered from frustration whether that's growing whether it's not you know the team all not doing X, Y, Z, or frustration of just not growing fast enough, not hitting your goals. But I want you to understand that these are, I mean, there's only three so far and there's six, but this is all a part of you and it's the growth within you. So, so we go on that cycle. We're focused. I want these people on my, you know, on my board, you know, on my in my in my drawing in my drawing room I want I'm gonna get fear and then I get frustrated and it's kind of you go back and forth and back and forth and then when me and Dave went ambassador it's funny isn't it when you absolute commit and you make that commitment and we sat down and we have we've got the board and we drew the circles of how many people we actually needed in to be into the business to go ambassador. Two legs, and we circled lots and lots of circles. <laughs> All right. And by this time, I hadn't reached out to Sarah, I hadn't gone back to her. But this time, I went back with conviction. This time, I had no fear because we were hitting ambassador. That was our 
absolute focus. And I just want to share with you how you can really draw in that energy and that power from yourself. Because when you are so convicted at something, now this time, I wasn't going to get a no from Sarah at all. But what I wanted to do and what I did do was go through her. She was a contact, okay? But I wasn't, I, I, for me, she was a no. But I needed to know from her who she knew. She was still my warm, friendly buddy with no interest. And I picked up the phone and I said, she didn't pick up the phone. I couldn't even be bothered to pick up the phone. Absolute truth. I messaged her on Insta and hi, because she wasn't even answering my text at that point. <laughs> She was, anybody had that? Um, that's to us all. And I just texted her in Insta and I went, hi, do you know any nutritionist? That's all I put. Do you know any nutritionist? I worked through her. She needed to get out of my way in a lovely way. I was just very focused. And she went, yes, I've got an amazing lady. Straight away, hadn't heard from her for ages. Straight away. She pinged, she said, you'll be able to hook up with her. And I went, brilliant, thanks a lot. She went, why, what's it about? I went, it's okay, no problem. And I went on to her friend and her friend. Now, has anybody had, oh, I'm gonna talk about fear again. This nutritionist, I am not a nutritionist. Anybody else? Maybe there was a couple. Anybody else feel fear again? when you have to speak to somebody that you know has probably got oodles of knowledge more than you. Who am I to even speak to you? And I found out that she was a gut specialist. And even worse for me at the time, worse still, she worked on Harley Street in London. And Harley Street colour is just the best street in the whole of London. You know, it's a very, you know, only the best consultants, but everything are on Harley Street. So she was on Harley, Harley Street and a gut specialist. I am just that. So I contacted her, I said, hi, Sarah's, you know, mentioned you as a, a nutritionist. I wondered if you could, um, if I've got a project that I'm working um, on and I wondered if um, I'm looking for a nutritionist like yourself. I wondered if we could have a chat. Oh, and it was hilarious. The doors opened. Sarah, oh, you know Sarah? Sarah, <laughs> so she was like, the doors parted, it was like the sea. <laughs> Bible. The, the whole, you know, the Red Sea was parted, the waves, and in, in I walk, because Sarah had given me her number. So is there any golden nuggets going on here? It's like, we know so many people, and sometimes if we get a no, we just need to ask. So we can even go back to all the people that we've ever spoken to before and with love for them, ask them, who do they know? Because they still have love for you. There's nobody that doesn't have love for you and everybody always wants to help. So she said, Hannah. So then Hannah said, yeah, I'd love to get on a call with you. Carla was so scared. She's a gut specialist. What do you think I did? I went off and researched everything about gut health, <laughs> things that I'd never learned before, all about gut health, to try and even have a conversation with this lady, everything about gut. And please let me tell you, I mean, it was, it just, it proves such a, a beautiful point that one, never be scared. And, and two, when I got on, I was so nervous and my fear was there, but my fear didn't stop me because I was still going to have that conversation. And you know, through that whole conversation, she never mentioned gut health once or asked me one question about the biotic. She was only interested in the test. She had different tests, which were about five times more expensive than our balance test. And she then knew there was a place she totally understood about where that would fit into her business and how she could help people. She didn't do the balance testing like we do. And she went, yeah, 
I'm in. That sounds fantastic. Wow. Honestly, powerful. But do you know the best bit, Carla? Hmm. Hannah said, I, I actually got back to Sarah and I said, Sarah, Hannah's in. She went, she's in? Are you joking me? If Hannah's in, I'm in. People, come on. <laughs> Honestly. I Honestly. love it. Honestly. So, do you know the big, like, you know, the other F that I really want to bring in is that faith. Our absolute faith. When we have that, and it's an absolute faith, and every single six, seven, and eight finger person successful person you can feel it and we all are in an environment where we are amongst these incredible people and you sit there and what I listen to is their absolute faith they have got the focus they've got rid there is no fear at all there is a little bit of frustration because any successful person will always be frustrated because they always want more but their absolute faith of conviction helps them and each part allows them for me it's I know it's like about growth every time we grow so it's like don't be put down it's like you know if we get a knock and we do Please just go, I am growing. And I mean, you do know as well that I am an absolute woman of faith. And it came up on the board. And um, if, we, if we put in the middle, I mean, growth, absolutely. Then I underlined growth, grow. Then, and then what I really got um, was growing, but I actually got growing in God. That's what I got. That's me. Okay. That's so that's who I am. So we've got frustration. So we've got focus, fear, frustration, and absolute faith. And we've got growth every time for me growing. Every single time that we pick up that phone and we make that call, for me, I am growing. And but for me personally, I am growing in God. Um, and the next last one that I really want to share. <laughs> is what we all want and it's the last f and it's freedom freedom of choice freedom to serve freedom to be financially rewarded in what we absolutely love and whether we choose to put a percentage in ta charities to tithe to make a difference even with local aid with that zinzino um india project Whatever that is, growth in our family for the freedom, it's phenomenal. But every single time that, yes, we can focus, but I absolutely, and I'm going to do it in just in green, successful people will only, I've got a green line down, they will over, only ever focus on focus and the absolute faith that, absolute faith of their knowing which will create a freedom in all of us and just to know that we every single step just go just catch yourself and go hey I am growing I am growing each day I am growing each day I have not got the frustration I have no fear I am focused on my absolute faith which will result into freedom but we all have so many stories, don't we, about the people that we've reached out. But it's asking and it's working through. We do, I, For me, when I sit with six, seven and eight figures, they are always focused, but they ask so many questions. If you've ever been in a room with Orion, oh, my goodness me, if you've ever had the chance to... Uh, Marco Passanati, Dave... <laughs> It's like questioning, asking, what about this? What about that? You know, your team, um, Hilda, oh my goodness me. 
it, everybody asks lots of powerful questions to help them understand, to help it to be guided. So each person that we connect with, with absolute, we know that we care for that person, whether they become a customer, whether they become a partner, whether they become neither, but for us to be able to ask, who else do you know? It's growing all day long in what we are so com you know committed and on mission for. Power. You are so powerful. I just love that. I love that the who's in your boardroom and that all these things in regards to like the fear and frustration, people are going to have them. And to consider that, that that's part of it. I mean, and just put it on the table and say, this is part of it. But when you have the faith and you stay focused, it does bring about the freedom. So I think actually you need to have sometimes those fears and frustrations. It's through the things that you're, the struggles. And if you embrace the struggles, yeah. that's growing. That's, that's really growing because your business grows as much as you grow. He kind of goes at the same time. I can, I, that's how I feel about it. Yeah. I mean, we, we all know, don't we? Every single thing that anybody will talk about. And it is, the, there's that frustration as well, <laughs> is to look inward. It's always about the growth within us. Yes, we want the growth with the business. But if we're not reading, if we're not, then trying again and again if we're not picking up the phone if we're not trying a different way to talk to people then it, it, we're not growing and we'll never you will ne we will all never grow our business if we don't have the action at mm -hmm. all um and we we all make every single successful person makes billions and billions and billions of failures and trials and errors and they will fail and fail and fail and fail but as we know it is the growth of ourselves that will always grow our business and it's good to have the frustration absolutely but more powerfully having the absolute faith in what we do we couldn't have a better company we just couldn't there, we've done over what one million four hundred thousand tests, Carla. How many? I mean, when I joined, I can remember. I think it was about three hundred and fifty thousand. They've done that in about six months. Mm -hmm. For me, it took about you know years for that to happen. When you speak and the vision of all elite, you know, we're even talking about art. I mean, such a visionary and a missionary. And everybody, you know, for us to know we're at the bell, that, that bell curve, the, we're just literally there. We have gone on for years and years and years, fully supported, and we are right there, guys, right now. Are we going to do a billion without question? Is Orion and Hilda and Dag focusing absolutely, I would think, with with strategy, with absolute faith, with everything that tallies up financially, with their stats, it's a no-brainer, mm. you know? So when that is where our absolute faith and conviction, so if we don't have it within ourselves, which I really get sometimes, we know within Zinzino, how many boxes does it check within ourselves to have the test? I mean, that just, and the more people, you know, it, we um, have spent some time, you know, with the uh, new guy, Art in the Department in the Department of Tatano, um, and he's in Marbella, but he's also in uh, the American guy. He's absolutely a delight. And he's in a delight because he's got this new energy. And you know, when somebody has that new energy and they just come in and they're going, yeah, he's fantastic. We're going, we know. And it's that apt and it's lovely. You know, it's like having that child, you know, that baby, the child that comes in and he's so, so excited, like we all were right at the very beginning. 
but we can inject that back into ourselves um, by the goals that we set. And don't be cut off if you've had a bad day. You know, the world, every day, things are going to happen. Every <laughs> single day, things are going to happen. We've got three children. We've got there's five of us at home. Things happen every single day. We've got three cats and a dog. Things happen. But we know that, you know, without her, and yeah, Carla's laughing because Carla's got twice the many as her. So are we, yeah. Things happen. And it's still being, it's that focus. It's like, no, I'm going to chunk my time out. I have set that goal. I am absolutely without faith. And if people are not interested, I'm happy. It's like, great. Who else do you know that I can serve to help? Next, you know? Love you, but I'll come back to you in six months. But it's that absolute focus, that absolute belief. We could not have a better company to be able to thrive in and change the lives of so many. We've seen it. How many times do we see it? Those test results come back and we can never guess. We can't guess. People say, well, where do you think I might be? And I might be, can never guess. And sometimes it's shocking. You know, when you've got a 24 year old in her third trimester and she comes out 65 and she looks the 65 to one out of balance and she looks the picture of absolute beautiful health. I'm shocked. It still shocks me, wow. you know, and it's up to us to have that mission together to go forward and to make the change and to make the difference because we have that within ourselves and we are born. If you absolutely know in your heart that you're here for a reason you're in the right place by far. Well, wow, Shen, I think I told everybody it was going to be from the heart and all of this is from the heart. It always speaks so much to me, my dear. Uh, and I really truly believe that we are on a mission and we have a purpose here and, uh, and we're just getting started. We are just getting started. Really Shen, are. Thank you so much for taking the time to share uh, there's so many golden nuggets in here and I am as much as I'm thrilled with where we've come in Cincino, I am really excited about the future and, uh, looking forward to growing businesses all over the world, globally to the top. Also with you, my friend. Oh, wow. Love you. You are incredible. And thank you for what you do. Doing weekly calls like this is just beautiful. And thank you for having me on, guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. And trust it's been a full service, but it's beautiful to see you all. And I can't wait to see you all um, soon personally. I love coming over to, especially, I know we come to Minnesota and we just, me and Dave have the best time. And thank you and everybody that we meet there. And I won't name everybody but you know who you are that actually blesses us every time we're there and Carly you make us feel so warm and so welcome and friendship is truly and this is what this is what we have mm. the friendships I've said honestly Zinzino is not just a business it's a family and when we come on we feel the family we get together we 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 can feel every part of each other and the the growth we have in each other so if we want to grow the business we grow ourselves and we actually grow our family that's what we're doing yeah. finding more family members. culture yeah the culture is just truly like I don't think anybody mm. we've never had we've always yearned for it and now we have it and gosh it's just a blessing so yeah and to help each other how beautiful is that utterly blessed thank you so much for having me well thank you shan and thank you everybody for being on today uh thanks for all of the the family thank you for tuning in. have a great saturday everybody thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thank you carla thank you for having us love it thank you guys this is amazing shan thank you oh